If you've ever felt completely overwhelmed by portrait photography, or just at a loss of what to focus on to take you to that next level, then come hang with me. I help guide portrait photographers just like you to stay clear and sharp in camera and with your goals. I'm your host, photographer, educator, and weirdly positive mama four, Emily Supio. And this is the Stay Focused Podcast. Photography advice to help you stay focused. Hey everyone, it's Emily Supio, and thank you so much for pressing play on the Stay Focused Podcast. As always, I promise to give you lots of value and help you out with your photography goals. And today's episode is no different. And I think maybe I am just in that spooky, scary, Halloween-y kind of mood. It is mid-October. I'm seeing decorations everywhere and fall colors and scents, and I'm just in that scary, spooky mood. So I thought, what a better way to celebrate this time of year than to do a scary episode. Well, not really scary, but (laughs) I know I'm kind of silly and weird, but we're going to be talking about something today that scares a lot of new photographers. Actually, it scares a lot of seasoned photographers too. What we're going to be talking about on today's show is full sun. Shooting in that bright sun where there is no shade in sight. Now, maybe if you are very new to photography, you haven't even quite realized this yet, but once you do, full sun will scare you away. It's, it really is difficult to shoot in. It's hard to shoot in. You get not super flattering pictures, especially if you're working with people. Um, it makes a lot of really harsh shadows and heavy highlights. And it's just, it's not really fun to shoot in. You don't get that beautiful glowy light or that soft, smooth light that makes portraits look very flattering and beautiful. It's like harsh and in your face. And if you don't know how to use your camera with the full sun, it is straight up scary. You'll probably run away from it. Not run away like skeletons and witches and ghosts, but well, maybe. (laughs) So today I want to break down how to make shooting in full sun more successful. But first, if you have not done so yet, I want to give you this chance to head over to the Cozy Clicks Online Photography School website to grab your free copy of my manual mode handbook. This is going to point you in the right direction, get you started with manual mode so that you will start to understand how to work in lighting situations that are scary, like full sun, but also so much more. So head over to cozyclicks.com forward slash handbook. It is my free gift to you. You can grab that today and start understanding manual mode. Okay, so I've got to be totally honest with you guys. It was not just that it is October and close to Halloween that I wanted to do this scary full sun episode. I actually was shooting in full sun recently, like about a week and a half ago, I had the chance to go to the Grand Canyon with my family, which is super cool, super beautiful. Amazing that I had never been there, seeing as I live three and a half hours from there. I've lived three and a half hours from there for 20 years and have not gone there. So when I went with my kids, it was also my first time seeing it. Super cool. But while we were there, we had the opportunity to stay in this super cool campground and now this campground was not your typical campground because honestly i don't think my family and me and all my kids would be able to do the traditional camping i just in theory it sounds really cool but to actually do it and pack everything and bring it up and set it up i just don't see us doing it so this campground was a glamp ground And instead of tents, it had these really unique domes that were set up. Not cabins, not, you know, uh, 
wall domes, but it was similar to a tent, but inside it had heat, it had air conditioning, it had beds inside, um, but totally open, like clear tent window type material. I don't even know how to describe it, but beautiful, really cool, unusual, unique. But this dome campground was in the middle of nowhere, middle of the desert. So kind of cool to see all these little domes, kind of like alien-like almost, to see all these little domes near the Grand Canyon, out in the middle of the desert, like nothing else around. Including like trees and open shade, right? Like very, very full on sun. So I decided to challenge myself a little bit and get out there and shoot in this full sun light, which is scary for most people. But actually, it's really not if you know what you're doing. And that's what I want to talk about on this episode today is some things that you can do when you have the chance to shoot in full sun. So maybe you're not scared of it, but you embrace it. And actually, that's the first, my first tip to you today is embrace that light. Actually, embrace any light you're working with and make it work for you. Don't be afraid of it. Use it to your advantage. Use it as a challenge. Use it as fun. Use it as a way to be creative because that's really where the magic happens, right? And maybe your pictures won't turn out. Maybe they'll look really bad, okay? Some of mine do sometimes, but maybe they'll look really cool. Maybe they'll look really unique. And I think sometimes when we see scary light, like full sun, where there's no shade, it's not golden hour, you know, it's not just this beautiful light filtering in, it's just full on sun. A lot of times, we feel like, oh no, our pictures are going to look, you know, the highlights are gonna be so bright and the shadows are gonna be so harsh and it's really gonna be unflattering and my pictures just aren't gonna look good at all. But instead of having all of those feelings, just work with what you have. Really, like just have fun with it. And that's what I chose to do too. And I absolutely love the way my pictures turned out. If you don't follow me over on Instagram, my handle is at Cozy Clicks. I posted um, a lot of pictures and behind the scenes, a few live videos too from there that are posted on my Instagram. Uh, so if you are curious to see this glamp campground, this dome campground, and some of these images I'm talking about today, head over to Instagram. I'll put that link in the show notes too, so you can check it out and see. Um, but number one, like just embrace that light and just have fun with it. Okay. Number two, and this tip is a little more technical. Okay. When you're shooting in full sun, there's a lot of light that's coming into your camera, which means that you've got to compensate for that some way by adjusting your manual settings. So again, if you're not there yet, if you're unclear with manual mode still, and that's totally okay if you're newer to manual mode, um, you're gonna first wanna make sure you've downloaded that manual mode handbook that I that I offer for free at cozyclicks.com forward slash handbook, so make sure you do that. But when you understand manual mode, you know what to do with your settings to compensate for that really bright light that's gonna come in your camera. So the, the first thing, the first setting you're really gonna wanna change is that shutter speed. Bump that up, make it super fast, because that's not gonna let so much light into your camera. That's gonna help it from looking super bright. I actually, one of my students just yesterday, I was working inside the community, my Shoot It Sensational community with my students, and one of them said, I was so unsure about this. My daughter looked like an angel. She was so white. And that's what happens like you when you overexpose, when too much light gets in the camera, your the pictures of your kids can look so angelic that you don't even see them there or or kind of like a ghost because they're just so, so bright, so, so white from all the sun coming in. So my second tip to you, if you are working in an area that's super bright, is to up that shutter speed. It's going to help you so, 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 so much. Trust me, I will. And then once you get more comfortable with manual mode, there's other settings you can tweak and change around too to make the sun not as bright coming into the camera. Um, the third thing, if you find yourself shooting somewhere where there is 
total full sun and it is harsh is you might want to choose a shorter focal length lens. So while I was up near the Grand Canyon, I was shooting with my 50 millimeter 1.4. If you have a 50 millimeter 1.8, and that is the lens that I recommend most new photographers get, if you're shooting with that lens, um, that's perfectly fine too. Now, a lot of you know the 135 millimeter is my like all time favorite lens. I absolutely love that one. I don't have a great time shooting with that lens in full sun. There's a lot of light that seems to come through in that longer lens. It makes my pictures really hazy, really bright, you know, makes everyone look like an angel or a ghost because they're so overexposed, it's so hazy. But I found it's much easier to take photos. It's much easier to, to manipulate the light when your lens is shorter. And we were actually talking again in my community, um, same time so earlier this week. It was a same conversation, different student, and we were talking about full sun, and we were talking about lens choices, and she was using a zoom lens all the way down to 18, an 18 millimeter. Now that's really short, and you could use that lens in full sun, um, but that might be a little too short. Uh, for full sun or for portraits in general. Maybe, it depends what you wanna do. So when I say use a shorter lens, I don't necessarily mean that short, but a 35, if you have a 35 or a 50, those are probably better choices than shooting with a 135 or 200 or 300 millimeter lens. Okay, so it's not really the extreme shortness. It's just kind of in that short, lens range. I think that will help you out when using full sun. But bringing it back again to that number one tip, and that's how I want to round it kind of out to and leave you with this. Embrace the light. Embrace the full sun if that's what you're shooting with. Embrace whatever light you're working with when you're out there practicing and shooting. Because when you embrace that, your pictures are gonna look so much better. When you're trying to get the light to be something it's not, your pictures aren't gonna look good because you're trying to do something totally different. So you've gotta just embrace the light that it's around you and work with it and understand how to work, work with it. And once you guys get really good with manual mode and understand your camera and understand learning the camera, all these light situations are just going to click. They're gonna to come together for you. And that's why I'm such an advocate of education, right? And learning, learning your camera. That's why I'm always talking about it and telling you guys to download that manual mode handbook and start learning somewhere. Is because when you do that, it makes things easier, like shooting in full sun, shooting in all kinds of light. It really does. You're just, you'll know exactly what to do and exactly how to, embrace the light so that your pictures look good. So this week, I challenge you guys to get out there and shoot in full sun or shoot in light that might be a little scary for you, just, you know, in honor of October and Halloween and all. Get out there and kind of scare yourself a little bit. Try something new. If you still are really stuck if learning your camera is really confusing, and believe me, it was for me, it is for a lot of people, you can grab a spot on my wait list for the Shoot It Sensational program and community, which will be, we'll, we will be putting more students in very soon. I was trying to think of how I wanted to say that, but go to cozyclicks.com forward slash wait list, put your name on the wait list so that when enrollment is open, you can get a spot inside that program and community so that you can feel more confident behind your camera, you can feel more confident shooting in full sun or really any lighting situation, right? All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Remember, you can check out those pictures and some of my behind, I'm like tripping over my words right now. Um, some of my behind the scenes videos from those glamping domes on Instagram. My handle is at Cozy Clicks. And yeah, I'll be back again next week with all new tips and tricks and motivation and inspiration for you so that you can be a better photographer. All right, you guys, I'll see you next Wednesday. But until then, here's to staying in focus, in camera, and with your goals. Bye, you guys.